What if God was like one of us? What if God was like one of us? Stuck on a bus, trying to find his way home. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Carrey, for the laughs. Anyway, so welcome back, fellow tamers. This is your King Willick speaking, <laughs> and uh, looking for Starmon at the moment. Um, so yeah, I uh, tried to figure out the majority of this maze floor so I could figure out what I'm supposed to do next. Sadly, I haven't come out with any er, conclusions. Wasn't there a Leomon up there? Oh no, he was in the next room. With Starmon! Okay, at some point, one of these two are going to have to tell me that I have to defeat Gladimon. Looks like Starmon has no quests for us. So we're going to have to take up Leomon's quests. So we're doing good time. Leomon's task. Uh, this is to... We need to find Scout. Order fragments. What? Stop running! Okay, so apparently there are Scouts scattered all over Maze, and we need to find them all in order to salvage what they've lost. Okay, so they're not here. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. They're not going to be in that room. I doubt they're going to be in this room. Or in this room. Is there one in this room? And I just didn't notice. Oh look, another entrance. Ah! Starmon, why are you running? Seriously. I'm trying to confuse people. Knock it off. Alright. Yeah, you can't get out that way either. <laughs> Scoutmon. Where are the. Ooh. Hello, Anubimon. Anubimon. Scouts on this floor? Nope. How about back here? Are there any scouts in the Gyromon room? Let's find out, shall we? Scout Leomon. Nope, no scouts here. Let's check the next room. Oh, but there's a scout here, and we need to talk to him. So, that's one. Wait a minute, scout order fragments. Scout Yomon seized by Gladimon. Oh, so I do gotta defeat the Gladimon. Well, I wasted everybody's time. Don't worry, I can cut this out later. And if I don't, you can yell at me later and say, You've wasted our time! Reset this quest! Don't worry, <laughs> I will do just that. <laughs> Once requested. So, if I cut the duration of this video out, which I doubt would be even useful after that, because, you know what? Having bits and pieces of you know, what I just did, uh, just tell us what you should not do. Now let's do what we should do, which is uh, hitting up the Gladimon. And we were just in that room, and we didn't even know about it. Hmm. You know how long it's been since I've did this quest? my phone real quick. 
Yep, yesterday was my fifth anniversary. Mm hmm. Back on my fourth. I think it was my fourth. Yeah, it was my fourth anniversary. Because I started back in 2013. This is 2016. So 14, 15, 16. Yeah, three. This would be my fourth year. So, 2017. Let's look forward to that, shall we? And not to worry, I doubt I would be even finished yet. Even whenever I hit my fifth anniversary. Because there are still more things to come. And no, I don't mean that as a sick joke, I'm just saying. And I leave every important information separated from the eggs that I have to return. That is not data. That over here, over here, disappear. Yay! You, bloody mom, are a terrible swordsman. I will have to take you out. Yeah. I mean, look at Imperial Jamon. Go! He's putting all of his effort into it. Maximum effort! So, Deadpool. Awesome movie. But I did catch a draft of people dissing the new Star Wars movie being a remake of uh, 4. But I told them they were missing a plot if they were thinking that much. Because... A lot of things happened in that movie. That I don't care to explain right now. I'm just going to let you watch it to figure it out. And you're going to have to watch the whole movie to understand the plot. If you don't watch the whole movie and don't keep an open mind while watching the whole movie, you're not getting the plot. So, if you requested me to send you an email about what the plot was supposed to be, well, guess what? You're asking the wrong person. <clears throat> because the only thing I can do, if you ever seen the movie, is I'll have to send you an email about what the plot was about. And not ruin the, uh, the movie for the rest of you. As long as you see the movie the first time around, you're okay. If you tried for the second time around and still missed it, <sighs> all I know is, is I want a BB-8. I want to upgrade my Android. It would be amazing. They said BB-8's uh, droid program, or android control program would be on the Google Play uh, app store. I looked for, or yeah, I looked it up, couldn't find it. Either I've uh, just passed it, or I uh, have no idea what I'm looking for. Either way, I just don't know what I'm looking for. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. If you ain't got something, you can't fix it. I'm just that poor. Mm -hmm. Although... 
come to think about it, I'm not so sure if some of you might not know this because you're a younger audience, but for those of us at the age of understanding Lost in Space, on the other hand, uh, yeah, that technology... <laughs> Technology was brilliant. To explain that one, that was something. One of my uh, fake friends, as I can now put it, uh, showed me his robot from Lost in Space movie, or from the Lost in Space movie. He said it was USB compatible and programmed all these functions into it. Apparently there was a site with a uh, loaded folder of his voices, his uh, programming or whatnot, and he would use it to change the dialogue of what the robot says. And whenever I first saw it in the magazines that time it came out, I was like thinking, is this life-sized or is this just something that will fit out the palm of my hand? Surely enough, it's something that fits the palm of your hand. Especially if it's USB based. I mean, think about it. If it was like life-sized, do you know how big it would have to be? You'd pretty much have to take off his head just to plug it into the USB port of your computer. That would have been amazing. <laughs> yes, this 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 uh, episode here just came turned into a episode of uh, movie topics. I'm sorry about that, especially if it's nothing that you are interested in. But if it is, and you still want to jump on topic, please do share your ideas. Uh, I'd like to talk about anything you guys think is interesting. And I could perhaps base my opinion on the matter. If I were able to. But sadly, lately I've just been getting yelled at in comments because some people didn't know how to finish some quests and. I don't know where to begin on that because it's like, um, for one, you have to be paying close attention on how this game was uh, based on questing. Because if you're even missing one key point of that quest, even if you didn't even accept it or still spending hours on trying to do it, well, well I just finished this quest. Experience with oh look, coin. Oh, I just want to leave this room. Where was that? Oh yeah, if you were missing even the key point of the quest, such as picking something up. And it was an item that you could barely find. That's not my fault. Because to be honest, I did put every description I could into the video. Like for instance, what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to accept, and whatnot. Everything shown in the video, so you have to play, yeah, pay close attention to what you're supposed to do in the game. Or in the quest. Or whatever. So with Leomon's task complete, We'll pick up another one as soon as we come back. Thank you again for watching, fellow tamers. This is your King Willick speaking, and we will see you again in the next video. Stay tuned.